This video is brought to you by Gutensight, a leader in the world of website creation. Go to them for all your website creation needs, and you'll be able to easily create a fantastic looking website in no time at all with their fast and easy to use interface, their amazing tools, and a supportive staff. Use this promo code for a 30 day free trial. What is up guys, Zinazor here. Today I have a review for you guys of a Media Deva product. This is the Executive Ballpoint Pen Stylus. This is a magic wand capacitive touchscreen stylus and basically you can use it on almost any single touchscreen that is on basically any smartphone, tablet, and even some of the laptops that are out there that have touchscreens. So anything with a touchscreen, a capacitive touchscreen, you'll be able to use it with this. And basically, this is $21.97 on the Media Devil website. However, you could probably find it for cheaper on other places or possibly more expensive on other places. So my best guess for you guys is to just purchase it directly from Media Devil. They have good support. If anything happens, you can go to them. They'll fix it right up for you or they'll just send you a new one. They have a good return policy, all that kind of stuff like that. And a great thing about this is that it used to be 30 bucks, so they dropped it by around 10 bucks. So it's a good deal right now. And 20 bucks for an executive ballpoint pen stylus is a pretty good deal. Not only is this a stylus, it also has a fully functional ballpoint pen. It looks great, comes in a ton of colors. I think like over five colors, or I think, yeah, six colors. It comes in six colors. So a ton of options for you to choose from. It's nicely packaged in this box. It comes with a carrying pouch. So there's a ton of stuff that comes inside of it. They really take care of you when you buy this guy so it's a really nice product already without even me taking it out of the box you could probably tell that just because the box is such high quality you're gonna know that the product inside is even higher quality so without further ado let's review this guy so I'll start by showing you what comes in the box so when you open the box it's actually pretty simple all you really have to do is just take it out and then the pen is right there so the pen is in this nice packaging material but once you take it out you can tell just really how glossy and shiny it is now personally when I took it out I actually enjoyed that glossiness I think it's really cool I'll tell you later at the end of it what I think about the glossiness after I've used it for a while but as you can see the pen splits into two parts so technically speaking you could use the pen and the stylus simultaneously because there are two different parts. I don't know who'd do that, but technically speaking, if you wanted to, it wouldn't be a bad idea. So in the box, you get this cool pouch and it has a cool little devil logo inscribed on the front of it. Now, personally, I don't see myself using this pouch very much simply because there is no point of using a pouch 24-7 when you're using this pen. If you're going to be using this pen as your primary pen and stylus, then I don't see yourself needing a pouch because a pouch makes it take longer to take the pen out of your pocket and it just adds a lot of bulk, so it just doesn't make any sense to me. If you want to, go ahead. The only place I'd see this pouch in use is like if it's on a desk and that's where you work and you occasionally take it out and you just leave it there to get, make it look classier and something like that. But if you're going to be using this on a daily basis, the pouch just makes it take longer to get out, take longer to put in, and it just makes everything go slower and it's bulkier, and that's why I just don't like to use the pouch. So although this is mainly designed as a stylus and to be used with touchscreens, this pen actually writes fairly well, and that's one of the greatly appreciated factors about this pen that makes it a lot better than your average stylus. So I have a drawing app loaded up here and when I select a color I can basically just draw all over the screen and as you can see right here it's actually fairly responsive. Now I'll compare this to my finger later but I think right now it's looking to be pretty awesome with a uh, smiley face like as you can see right here. So I'll write the exact same message with my index finger and as you can see probably already the stylus did have a better uh, clarity and it was more specific and more accurate compared to my index finger writing as you can see the words are less spaced out in this and they don't look as clear as opposed to the stylus which was much clearer and the images there were just very properly spaced out and it looked like actual handwriting just on a tablet so that's why the stylus is gonna win this one so let's compare how long it takes for me to type something up and search it on my tablet with the uh, stylus as opposed to how long it takes for me to type it up with my fingers and search it. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel right now, youtube.com slash dinosaur, and let's see how long that takes without making many errors. And I've been practicing with this stylus for like a week now, and it's still not easy. It does take a while. And the scrolling thing, uh, for some reason, it's just 
doesn't recognize the scrolling every single time. It's fidgety, it doesn't work every single time, but it does the trick. The only problem I see from now on is that if you actually want to zoom in, you can't really zoom in if you want to just stay hands free, because in order to zoom in you need two fingers, which means you gotta buy two styluses, which doesn't really work. So we're gonna go to the Media Devil site and we're just gonna go to Browse by Device. And already before I recorded this, I knew I was going to the wrong link, but we're going to do it anyway, and we're going to scroll down randomly. And as you can see, the scrolling is suffering slightly, and it's not really working to the best of its ability. Now, if we were able to have a larger tip at the end of the stylus, I'm thinking that this would be able to work slightly better, but as you can see, it's having some minor compatibility issues. It's not recognizing, the screen is not recognizing that the stylus is actually there. So when we scroll down here, I'll show you, I'll just scroll down to the actual section where the executive wand is, and it's gonna take a while to scroll, but the executive wand is two down from here, so let's try to get there. Boom, okay, the executive stylus thing is right there, so we'll click on that, try to get this to load up maybe, if we can try to or something. So I'm just lining it up right here with you and as you can see that is the actual thing. So we have loaded up the website. It took a while so now let's see how long it takes just to type it up with my fingers without a stylus. So as you can tell the test with the stylus was pretty slow and it could have been a lot better and in the sense of that I could have been a lot better it was not anything like specifically on my fault it was specifically on the fact that the recognition from the screen and the, and the stylus did not really happen the way it should have and as you can see right here I'm typing at a way faster speed than it than the stylus could ever keep up with simply because I have the ability to use multiple fingers when I'm typing with my fingers as opposed to using a stylus which is one digit and I have ten digits on my fingers so I have potentially speaking 10 times the capacity of what the stylus can do at any given moment because I can have 10 times as many contact points on the screen so it's definitely a major advantage to use your fingers plus the fact that they're free is an even better advantage of the fact that they're not 2197 but let's see how fast this loads and the scrolling already wasn't bad and as you can tell, I'm loading it up, it's going, and I got to the website a lot faster than I did with the stylus, and I'm going to have to say that the stylus is definitely lacking, and if you're going to get a stylus, make sure you're not doing it for typing, because typing, you're just going to make yourself look cool, but in the end, you're just going to be typing a lot slower than everybody else. Only get this if you're somebody that wants to draw on their tablet. If you're not going to be drawing and you think you're going to be typing, don't really get this because it's not really going to help you at all with productivity. It's just going to make you slower and you're going to hate yourself at the end of the day for buying this and thinking you could type faster. So right now I'm going to tell you guys this. If you're going to buy this for typing, don't buy this. You're going to hate yourself because you're just going to be typing slower because you're going to be typing, technically speaking, 10 times slower than anybody else that's using their fingers because this has only one contact point as opposed to somebody with 10 fingers has 10 contact points. So this is just a lot worse. Now if you're going to be doing drawing, go ahead and get this. This is way more convenient than using your fingers because your fingers are just fat and stubby. At least mine are. If you have really skinny fingers, I don't think you have anything to worry about, but if you have rather large fingers and you want to be more precise when drawing or or anything like that on tablets, iPhones, anything like that, definitely get this. But if you're going to be typing, don't get it. And as to my opinion on the glossiness, the glossiness isn't too bad. It gets your fingerprints on it a lot, but at the end of the day, if you put it in the pouch, that's actually one of the features where the pouch does help in. The pouch can wipe off that dust and the all the glossiness that attracted your fingerprints and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to clean it up a little bit, but overall the glossiness isn't too bad and it does make it look a hell of a lot cooler because glossiness is always cool it makes you look professional and who doesn't love glossiness when it doesn't make your phone and all that kind of stuff dirty so as long as you're maintaining this and just cleaning it you're gonna have a really slick looking pen slash stylus but uh, yeah thank you so much to uh, media devil for sending this out to me I really appreciate it once again it's around 22 bucks 2197 used to be 30 bucks I'll have a link for that in the description down below and uh, I'll have a review of their capacitive touchscreen gloves up in a little bit that is gonna be a pretty cool review too so uh, yeah with that rate comment and subscribe